owns ophthalmology? Is it investors, academia, ophthalmologists themselves? Those were the big questions at an evening session here at ESCRS in Vienna. We listened in as consultant Tobias Coasters spoke about how internal investors impact ophthalmology, and economist Wim Groot spoke about how independent providers can use training in academic institutions. Why is ophthalmology such a risky space and has been uh, for decades right now? There just simply attractive uh, fundamental characteristics. Um, there's uh, strong underlying growth drivers uh, that just continue to be driven, not just by demographics, but also um, by um, uh, innovation. Um, you have uh, interesting innovation on service models. Um, you have um, digitization as one of the key driver for larger structures. And um, there are indeed benefits of corporate networks, uh, not just to the clinicians, but also to the patients, regardless of how they are owned. The single biggest challenge is the scarcity of clinical staff, and uh, you can't act and optimize for short-term financial benefit as an investor. You have to go and invest in the long term. And if you don't treat your positions well, they will walk out the door and they will find either their own independent clinic or they will um, hire, you know, be hired from another competitor. I think finally, uh, one important uh, thing uh, to, to observe or what has been emphasized before is that if you allow private equity in your healthcare system uh, and if you allow private equity of the policy practices, uh, it's it's uh, uh, important and crucial that you organize counterfeit power uh, against the, 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 uh, the financial interest of private uh, equity companies.